Hello boys and girls, it is Johnny here, back with another video today. I couldn't find nobody else to collab with, so I guess uh, Aaron will have to do. Ouch. <laughs> Anyways guys, okay, as y'all know, the update is coming out, I think next week, if I'm correct. And we're here to teach you some tips and tricks on how you can uh, make profit off of the update. So... <clears throat> so the first thing you can do is um, when it fir the first day it comes out is cr play a bunch of games and get a bunch of crates and sell them because the first day the update comes out the crates are going to be overpriced I think they normally average what like four keys a piece yeah odds are yeah so you can you can get four keys for free basically because you're just playing the game and they give you the crates so just like that you can get four keys all you gotta do is grind 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 and get some overdrive crates the next thing you can do is um is you can collect all the as y'all know the cc one through four crates are retiring uh next update so they will go up in value i mean that's what everybody's predicting so i would try to stack up on crates and get as many crates as you can before next week because they're more than likely will be going up. Especially, I would say, uh, the crate I think is probably going to go up the most is a CC4. What do you think? Um, CC4 might go, or yeah, I feel like that would go up. But in my opinion, I think the CC1. I just like the CC1 because I love loopers. But that's me. So, um... Yeah, the first day the update comes out, I plan on uh, streaming and opening crates because as you can see, I have 63 keys. So I'm going to hopefully get some crates. I'm going to open a whole bunch of crates and they're not on time lock. So if I pull something, I don't have to wait a week until after the prices drop. So if you can get keys, I would advise you getting keys and open the crates. And um, make sure they're off trade lock though. That is a major, major key right there. And as, as long as you have keys, open the crates. Hopefully you pull a new car or maybe you pull the mystery. Because all this stuff is going to be way overpriced the first day. So if you do pull crates, I would sell all your stuff on the first day. Unless you pull something that you want to keep, then you know you might want to keep it. But Also, another tip. Another tip you can do is, uh, as you can see, this man has been collecting a set that is set to expire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah, the glorious. He decided to collect the chakra set, but you can collect like any set, because I'm pretty sure sets will go up because you won't be able to get the wheels no more unless you're trading and stuff. So I would, uh, I'd probably say do the looper set, because as y'all can see. The loopers have been, the white and crimson mainly have been going up and down and because people are predicting that they will go up. And um, that's pretty much all the tips I got, bro. You got any? Um, not really. Oh, I mean, a lot of people think if they save up on imports that they might go up. But honestly, I doubt any of the imports are going to go up because like, it's just some of them still come in crates that aren't being retired and there's going to be a lot more imports to be like focused on other than the breakout type s and stuff like that so that's just like don't try and save up on imports if you think that's gonna want to better you in your rocket league trading i show them show them the crates you've been collecting bro um it's a lot but i'll just add in the cc ones Baller. I have about 50 of each crate. Yeah, so he's hoping to, to make some major bank when this update drops, aren't you? Yep, hopefully. Especially if they're even like a key a piece, or even if they're like 0.50, you're still making. Point you're, exactly, that's You're still profit making still. profit, so. So, yeah, guys. Uh, uh, probably the easiest one for y'all would be to just play games and get the crates and get the crates and sell them to other people because like I said the first day they will be overpriced but they will drop super fast too so if you want to make an easy profit just you know play some games that's like I do play some games get the crates sell the crates play game get the crates sell the crates on the first day
that's, that's probably the easiest one for y'all but I've been selling and trading my stuff getting keys so I can uh, open crates and uh, test my crate luck on stream and so uh, hopefully my luck is good but uh, that's all the tips I have for you guys today and um, it, what are you doing dude what are you doing I don't know I hate nitros <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to the channel leave a like and subscribe and if this helped you well I hope it helped you if it didn't I'm sorry but these are just the little tips and tricks that uh we have for you today. Anything to say? I, just I don't care what you gotta say. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Okay.